Welcome to Real Estate Success Partner. We're your host, Devin Dubuque. David Wynn. And we're here to talk about how to have great success in every market. Uh, today, we're kind of back to the basics, brother. We got back to where it all began. Uh, we're here shooting out of my house uh, where we shot podcast number one almost one year ago today. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I love it. So we've got an awesome guest uh, for our Christmas episode. And uh, David... Uh, uh, this guest is yours, so I'm going to let you do the introduction. Who do we have today? Who'd you bring out here? Uh, I brought a special guest out today. It's uh, I'll, I'll call her Miss South Carolina, Ashlyn Chapman. Uh, <laughs> she is the renowned realtor out there. Uh, so here she is. Ashlyn, Hi, welcome guys, to the thank show. You. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Well, thanks for coming. Thanks for coming to my house. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All the way from South Carolina. I love it. I love it. So, uh, Ashlyn, you know, we know a little bit about you, but our followers don't always know our guests and we'd love to get that walk up. So uh, talk a little bit about yourself. Where are you from originally? Are you originally South Carolina? Yeah. Actually, no. I am from the Washington, D.C. area. I relocated here to the Myrtle Beach area in about 2013, um, finished up my undergrad at Coastal Carolina University and got into real estate. That's awesome. So a decade in the Myrtle Beach area and how long in the real estate market? I've been licensed since 2017. That's awesome. That's awesome. So uh, went there to finish up school, got out, said, this is where we're going to stay. And this is what I love to do. And uh, now you're out there doing amazing things in the Myrtle Beach area. Um, so talk about that. When you got your start in real estate, where did it all begin? Uh, are you with the same company now or, or you know, how's that look? I'm actually not. Um, funny about thing about it is I didn't get into real estate the traditional way. I kind of did it the non-traditional way. I needed an office position. I'm originally from the nightlife industry. And so I needed an office position, which I did not have. And um, the first place that hired me was a real estate brokerage. And my broker there, um, he was my mentor. He was like, you don't need to be answering the phones here. You need to be licensed. You need to be yeah. out like doing real estate. I think you'd be great at it. And so he kind of encouraged me to start and I did and I loved it and I've stayed ever since. That's amazing. That's amazing. So came in with no intentions on doing the sales activity and now here you are doing absolutely amazing things and uh, that was your original broker who mentored you a little there. Well, right? it wasn't actually. He is. I did move since then. Um, my husband right. now is um, a, the owner of the company where I work now and so yeah, like I, I did move but we still are good friends. I do consider him one of my, one of the greatest mentors I've ever had and he's That's still awesome. in the Myrtle Beach area and it's just, it's, we're really over community, not competition competition here. So everybody kind of encourages each other and it's just a nice environment. I love that. I love that. So I heard you mention your husband uh, owns your current agency. That's awesome. So you've got a family business then. We do. Yeah, we sure do. It's great. <laughs> That's amazing. What's that look like? So uh, you, your husband, are you the only two there? Or do you have a big team behind you? How's that, how's that, that, uh, that process look? Yeah, there's a couple owners. There's a couple agents. Um, it's it's we're trying to grow it too always, and they've got a couple other companies that they dabble in. You know, like flipping and insurance, like the kind of like the real estate family, basically. So it all goes hand in hand. Things going, yeah. It all goes hand in hand. Very cool. Okay. Very cool. So, um, you know, you got started in the industry. You uh, were mentored. And uh, what was that start like? Did you have uh, you know, a really quick jump in and just all of a sudden we're killing it? Or I did. Uh, I got really lucky. And it's my first lead that he kicked me was a cash buyer. I showed them one property. We made the offer immediately. They closed, no hiccups. I was like, wow, real this estate is easy. So easy. <laughs> this is so easy. And I was like, you guys have been complaining all the same how hard it is. And they were like, just wait. Yeah, just wait. <laughs> easy one for the first go for sure. Oh, that's great. That's cool though. You know, so you jump in, you hit the ground running and, uh, uh, you know, I love that you're also, you mentioned you're in the Myrtle beach area. We've done a couple of podcasts out there in Myrtle beach and, you know, I don't, I don't think a lot of people realize how, how how rapidly your area is growing and what else to offer out there too because you guys have a lot of stuff to do in Myrtle uh you stayed there after finishing school what what's so attractive about Myrtle Beach let's let's talk a little bit about that 
Just, I think, above all is the cost of living. It's very affordable here. Um, you're very close to all kinds of different things. We have the beach here. Obviously, that's the main attraction. There's a lot of golf. There's fantastic schools. Um, the medical industry is really getting a big boom here right now. So we have some fantastic doctors, all kinds of practices. And you're about two hours from Charleston, only about you know five and a half, six hours from the D.C. area where I'm from. Like Everything is very drivable. And we, get a, we stay pretty busy because it's one of those places that most people can drive to. So if you're ever limited by air travel or you just don't want to, to mess with that whole hassle, it's very accessible for most everybody. And there's all kinds of different price ranges here to accommodate really just pretty much anyone you could think of that was looking for a little bit of a change. There's a lot of opportunity here. That's awesome. Well, we know it's one of the rapidly growing cities. Who else coming to Myrtle, right? You know, I mean, what is there kind of a particular demographic that you guys see or is it a little bit of everybody? Mostly people sick of paying outrageous property taxes. We see a lot of those people coming to the beach. Yes. There's, there's a lot of great tax breaks here. Um, people who are maybe just sick of shoveling snow and they want to get to like a more year round um, outside climate. We do get a lot. We have cold months here, but it's nothing like what I'm used to being from, you know, the north myself. We see a lot of people coming from the Midwest, very, very far north. Just people really wanting to kind of change of pace too. It's not a whole lot of the rat race down here. It's a little more relaxed. People are happy um, pretty much every day. So it's it's pretty idyllic, I think. I'm a little biased because I love it here and I live here, but it's a wonderful place to live for sure. That's awesome. That's awesome. And what, what so again, I'm looking at moving to Myrtle and, you know, I'm, I'm not familiar with that area. What, what do I expect, you know, for seasons? Is it just hot and cold? This is, you know, do you get some true seasons? What's that look like there? What's, what's the weather like in Myrtle? Well, we do. I mean, we get most of the seasons. Our biggest time is, you know, spring to summer. It stays really warm most of the time. We will have our cold months, but it's all relative, right? Like today I wore a jacket and I think it was like 60 degrees and I'm like, oh, it's freezing outside. So I have the fireplace <laughs> on the other night. So it really just depends. But if you enjoy being outside and having things like walkable things to do, like things like downtown looking at Christmas lights, this time of year, it's a great time to do it. We see people walking on the beach every single day, regardless regardless of the weather. Um, it's a lot of, of outside fresh air. Like that's really the vibe here. And that's what a lot of like the, the new things are pointing more towards that, like getting people outside, getting out of the, you know, fluorescent lights and just into some vitamin D basically. Hey, so, so, Hey, Ashlyn, let's talk a little bit about the past and, 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 and the future of, of uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. So yeah. obviously, you know, the last year has been pretty tough in the, in the real estate business, but you know, you did really well. Um, I also know that you don't buy your leads. Everything you do is organic. So let's talk a about that because there's a lot of realtors out there that struggled this year and you, you still had a great year, you know? I did. Um, so I think... I think um, a big part of that is figuring out what success looks like to you, right? Like maybe some of the years that I had the most sales and I did the most business on paper, I didn't feel as fulfilled. Um, I think for me, success is really having a good like work, family, like social life balance and yeah. being able to enjoy you know, the fruits of your labor and stuff like that. So I feel like this particular year, even though I didn't, I mean, I've had sales years where I've doubled my production, right? But right. those are probably Absolutely. the years where I've, I've been the most burnt out. I've been the most exhausted. I don't feel like I, I did as much as I, I wanted to do. Whereas times like this, you really get to dig deep into like your sphere and your connections with people and kind of go from there. I think people really underutilize what is free to you, which is social media, your sphere of influence, your, your face, your personality. Like there's so much you can do without having that pressure and all that extra expense of just paying like out the That's mouth right. for, for leads. There's a lot of things that I don't think people utilize. And I, I read this analogy online before, and it was like, you kind of, maybe you complain because there's not like a cake in your oven, right? But what you forget about is you have flour, you have sugar, you have oil and eggs all in your pantry. So dig deep into what you already have. And there is no return better than word of mouth and referrals. So take care of the people that are in front of you, do the best job. And I think that will continue to enable you to have repeat business and tapping into your past clients. I think those are your biggest, um, your biggest resource for sure. That's a great answer, Ashley. By is. the way, people out there, that's a pro tip. It is. You know what, 100%. when it's slower, 
tap into your database, tap into the well, resources that you don't think about. Because when your hair is on fire in real estate business, you don't think about those things. But when, right. and she talks about getting involved in the sphere, right? You know, just getting deeper and closer with those relationships. And I think, you know, that's again, such a pro tip because that's where we find that the majority of the people that we end up doing business with, they come from our past customers, the ones that we've worked with. And a lot of the times it's the past customers themselves. And sometimes it's their offspring, right? That say, Hey man, you know, who do I go to mom or dad? And hey, they're going to come right back to you because exactly. you're there for them, you know, and right. you're deep they take care of you who's still around. And, and I think this season is a perfect time for that too, because it how is. easy is it right now to just send a holiday greeting or do a pop by with some cookies or a little gift or a card. I mean, these things like just, just staying with your sphere and people that you have interacted with before, I think is the most underutilized tool in all of it. For me personally, at least I, I noticed when I started really tapping into that more and encouraging my agents to do that more. Yeah. I mean, you can't argue with it. Like you don't have to reinvent the wheel, right? Like all this stuff, we already know about it. It's just people maybe just kind of forget or just don't think that there's any real fruit in that labor, but there always is that I've found. Yeah. Well, the reminder, you know, you, you know, sometimes people underestimate that they remember what you do, you know, and it's like, Hey, you know what? This is what I do. Hey, I'd love to help you, man. It was great working with you. Do you have any other friends, family, or coworkers uh, that might be in that market right now? I want to give them that same great service because it was so awesome working with you and your family, right? You yeah, know, and, ask, for and, it. ask for the business. That's it. You got to ask for the business. And I think a lot of people are afraid to do that, but that's why you're still having success, even in a market where others are not, uh, is because of the fact that you're tapping into that sphere. And like you said, going deep. And that's what we found too, uh, in our side of the business. Well, uh, David alone has served thousands of clients and David, you haven't been in the industry for a ton of time either. Either I've been in it for two decades. I've, 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 I've helped hundreds of thousands of customers, but David's been in this industry for five you know, years, five years, 2018. Yeah. And you know, what we, we clocked it the other day. It was like 1300, 1300, 1300 yeah. family set. Yeah. Family five family years. And, and that's, you know, that's why you're having success too, because you've got a sphere, you've got a sphere of people that you've, you've influenced and been there for, but at the same time, you're doing just like, like Ashton's talking about, you're yeah. going back to those customers, you're having those conversations. So, you know, if you're an agent or if you're a loan originator and you're wondering, where do I find some business right now? Reach out to the people you've served. They're probably going to be really excited to hear from you uh, because you were a part of their lives. You were part of one of the biggest transactions that they have. And if you did your job well, which I hope that you did, if you're still in the industry today, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe be before, but now you got to be like authentic and you got to care and yeah, take care of people the same way you would want someone to take care of you. And that's really just the key, I think. Hey guys, it's Devin and David. We're your real estate success partners. Hey, if you're enjoying these podcasts and want us to keep bringing back this content, uh, we truly appreciate you following us. Uh, but if you could go below and subscribe or make some comments, we'd truly appreciate it. And we'll keep bringing back great content in 2024. Well, no let's, let's talk no about question. that. As we sit here and talk on this podcast, it's, was it Friday, December 8th, 2023? Um, you know, we've had six weeks of the feds dropping interest rates. So rates are yeah. going down almost a point and a half. Um, they've already announced like, you know, next year they haven't announced it, but you know, they're saying that the feds are going to drop interest rates probably five or six times over yep. the course of next year. So it looks like we're, we're seeing a boom. You know, we came back from Thanksgiving break and we've seen a, a tremendous increase in, 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 in mortgage applications, you know, yep. just from the drop in the six weeks, 4 million more borrowers across the country qualified now where they didn't qualify before just right. from the six weeks drop. So it's coming. It's, I love the answer that you said, Hey, it was a, uh, this past year was a time for me to enjoy it. You know, I've had, but, what are you doing for next year, Ashton? I'm, I'm curious because it's coming. You, you're also in a market that, you know, in, in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, even though it's a small community, a lot of people don't know that it, it's a top 10 city, if not a top five city that people are moving to That's in right. the United States of America. And consistently top for years. Like it's yeah, been, it's been it's like been that for the last two or three so, mm -hmm. so w what are you doing? What, what, what are you preparing? Are, are you got the seatbelt uh, button now? Are you ready for next year? Or what? <laughs> what's I'm the always plan? ready. I'm always ready to go. I think, I think some of the things like your daily tasks, right? No one can control what the rates are. No one can control what the market is. You can control your attitude. You can control That's your right. effort. You can control your daily 
do not miss things. So I think the most important thing right now, especially if you're a struggling agent, or if you had maybe a slower year and you are ready to get going, like make sure your database is updated, like completely update that, double check everything, add every contact. There's no such thing as like a dead lead, right? Because maybe it's it was still a person that entered into your system. Like it's still a name, it's still a number. As long as it's like, you can turn and, and interact with just about anybody. So make sure you're utilizing that database, make sure it's updated. I really like sending mailers. I know it's a little old school, but I think like, I want everybody in my neighborhood to know, like you see McDonald's commercials every day. You don't need to <laughs> see that because you know who they are, but I want someone, I don't want someone when they see like me, they think of realtor, 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 but I want someone when they think about real estate to think about me too, because I always stay in the top of their mind. That's always my goal. But it's just normal, you know, to like talk about what you do and what you care about. People want to know. I get more questions like, well, what are the, what's going on with the rates? Like what's going on with the market? Like as soon as they know you're an agent or in the industry at all, they're going to ask you questions. So stay informed, even if you're not busy, know what's going on in the community, know what's going on like nationally and be able right. to answer those questions because they're going to ask and then they're going to see you as a resource for that. And they're going to trust you. And that's where that all comes from. Like they, you need people to trust that you're going to look out for them and take care of them. Well, I'm going to take that back real quick because you dropped a whole lot of knowledge over this, and I don't <laughs> think everybody's picking up everything. Um, you know, you mentioned McDonald's still advertises, right? But we all know what McDonald's is, but they still advertise, right? And that's one of the things that our mentor, uh, Carl White, uh, the mortgage marketing analyst, talks about all the time is, you know, McDonald's still advertises, Apple still advertises, we know who they are. But at the end of the day, if they're still doing it, uh, then we need to be doing it too, right? Because they're, they're spending billions of dollars uh, to, to get in front of us. And, and, and that's, that's how we do that. But you talked about the different forms of staying in front of people because you said, well, you got to stay in front of your sphere. But earlier you said you got to use social. And now you just said direct mail. Those are all the different forms of creating great success in this industry. So I love that you brought her on and I see why she's having great success right here because it's, it's, it's the secret. That's not such a secret and you're doing all of it. You're doing the phone call activity. You know, you're staying in touch with that sphere of influence. You're doing the social media activity. You're making sure that people know how to get back to you when they need to get back to you. You're making sure that people know you're a professional in this industry and that they can come to you for reliable answers, right? And in addition to that, you're doing direct mailers so that they're seeing you all the time. And that's important. You've got to come from every different direction. Um, but also, you know, part of being the expert in the industry, um, that's so important, right? You know, people need to know where they can turn to when they want help. And what I love about what you said is the mindset aspect of it. We're in a situation right now where there's a lot of people out there that are struggling. There's a lot of people that are struggling because of inflation. There's a lot of people that are struggling because they've depleted their savings. And we need to have strong mindsets. And leaders in any industry need to have that mentality that you have. It's all right here between the ears. It's how you're thinking when you wake up in the morning and how you're projecting your energy to help others. And that's what you're doing, Ashlyn, is you're out there helping others because you've got this positive energy that you're projecting to the world. And that's why you're having great success. And thank you uh, for having that strong mindset and attitude because we need more people like that right now, right? We need more leaders. So amazing stuff seriously dave thanks for bringing her up man so, yeah awesome. yeah absolutely yep. <laughs> thank you <laughs> so I, I i got a i got a little question for you I, yeah. I like to drop on some of our guests so you know you've been doing this since 2017 you've had lots of transactions what's the one transaction that meant the most to you oh my mom and dad's for sure uh, <laughs> yeah, parents always. and um recent last year i actually did i'm trying to pick up more you know investment properties of my own right so right. It was, I, I did buy an oceanfront condo and I surprised my mom because she's always wanted something like that, that she could come because we never dreamed that we could have access to that kind of thing. And that's a, something that's a whole other thing. But I don't think people realize how accessible home ownership actually is and how right. you can use it to build wealth. Um, but I remember when I bought the oceanfront condo, I was like, oh, can you guys just come with me? I got to do this really quick walk through really quick. And I was like, oh, mom, what do you think about this one? She was like, I love it. It's so cute. I was like, yeah, it's yours. Like. It's oh, like, Ashley. That was awesome. But I will say outside of my own personal, um, I did have a transaction with a homeowner. I believe it was in 2020. And um, she was the first person. She, Her family were all immigrants. Um, she was the yeah. first person in her entire lineage to purchase her own home. And like- oh 
her reaction when I gave her those keys. I mean, I think about her all the time. I actually just reached out to her the other day because it came up and I keep reminders of when I sold things and who they are. Like I stay, I really try to stay in touch with them because I care so much and I want to make sure you're still loving it. And I just want to talk to you. So reaching out to her again and seeing how they love it. And like they, they have a new baby now and like the kids that are in the house. I mean, it was, it's so fulfilling. It really is wonderful to be able to do things like that. That's killer. That's killer. You know, I love the, again, two things you said, you know, buying a home for your mother, man. I mean, that's, that's just a special thing. I did the same thing for my mom a couple of years back and, you know, to be able to do that and to offer, you know, an opportunity that maybe when we were growing up, we didn't see as an opportunity, you know, for ourselves and then be able to share that gift uh, with the person that brought you into this world, raised you and took you where that's a special thing. We talk about family on our episodes all the time because you mentioned it earlier. Uh, real estate success is is not just about the financial gains, but it's about what you're doing uh, mm -hmm. with those gains. And a lot of that needs to be, you know, in, in our world, it means, you know, spending time with your families and doing things to make sure that your families have success. Uh, and whatever the successes are, right, raising kids to become successful entrepreneurs, right, or, uh, you know, helping a family member achieve a dream that they never knew was possible. And that's exactly what you did is, is, is connected that. But the other thing that we always fall back on is most of the great agents out there that we found, the monetary value is awesome. We all love that. But it typically goes back to helping families. And normally it, it kind of segues back to helping like one family that we remembered early on in our career and we go, man, this is, this is so special. And this is why I want to, why I want to do what I do. And I, I have a feeling for you, that's a big part of why you do this as well. Right. You, you truly love helping people. Yeah. It's a big honor. I think like we should never take that lightly because the, the advocacy that we provide and like the information, I mean, it's like, and you just don't know what that's going to turn into. So that home you sell them, their kids can grow up there. They can use that for something else. They can, you know what I mean? Like you just never know what that's going to create in that family. And I think if you really like take yourself out of it and look at what you're doing for other people, like that is such a wonderful thing. Like it's the most fulfilling part of my job for sure. And I, I definitely don't take it for granted. And I think about it as much as I can, because it's just, it's, it's so like, it gets you like in the heart for sure. It does. It does. I love it. Well, so talk a little bit about the team. Uh, you know, you, you guys have this great agency. Uh, what's that look like for you? Um, do you have people that work with you, work under you? Uh, Nobody what, that what works that under me. Like? Um, I do. We have, um, I'm not even sure how many agents because we actually just merged two companies. So I probably should have cool. known that. But um, like one of my best friends works with us. Her husband does too. I mean, we have, my husband does, his best friend is, is on board. So it's a lot of like, family friendly Beautiful we're a thing. small brokerage which and we're which i think like I don't know. I, I feel like it enables us to have a little bit more of an outreach because we're very involved in the community. We do a whole lot of stuff volunteer wise. Um, sure. And it's just it's just a great resource, I think. And I think a smaller brokerage can be more tailor made to the agent. You can get a little bit more like it's a little bit more flexible. I found anyway. Um, so I love it. I really wouldn't change a thing for sure. That's killer. That's killer. And so what's that like, uh, you know, bringing family into the business, right? You've got you and him both doing the same thing. Um, what's, 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 what's that work life balance look like for you guys? We always like to go down that road. So I think it's fun. I mean, it can be, some people like to keep it separate, which I think is great. I've seen that work really well for many people that I know personally. Um, like this morning we went and looked at a property that we, that, that might be available at the auction soon. So like we get to kind of do things together. And I think that's sure. really fun. And he's been in the industry for over 20 years. So if I ever have questions, like he's right there to ask, he can't get away from me. So he has to help me. <laughs> <when> I need. <laughs> it's just nice. I mean, it's, it's nice to do what you love with somebody you love. I think that's just a blessing. And I'm really thankful that I have the opportunity to do that for sure. That's awesome. That's awesome. You married a mentor. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that's good stuff. So you guys own some properties. Uh, how many properties do you own? Um, personally, me, I have a long-term rental in like a house house out in Little River. And then we do some investment property with with the Oceanfront condo. I think his group, um, I honestly don't know how many they own. Probably a good bit. Um, I know at least two buildings. <laughs> I'm not even sure, honestly. Yeah. But you got a good portfolio. And the reason I bring that up is because some people move into the Myrtle area and they want to do investment. And having an agent that understands that side of the business is super important as well. And it sounds like you guys know 
uh, that side of the business too, right? So you're not just representing the borrower that's looking for their dream home, uh, but you're also helping represent investors um, that are coming in because Myrtle is rapidly up and coming uh, mm -hmm. and locating homes as well, right? Yes, investors are pri pretty much the bulk of my business, and it's an interesting dynamic that we have because while most of my background is residential, um, he has been doing property um, vacation rental management for 20 something years. Actually, his parents started a company in Myrtle a long okay. ways back. And so it's been like a generational kind of thing. So it's, it's kind of nice because if you're most investors, I love first time investors. They're my absolute favorite to work with just because there's so much guidance you can provide them and just being able to help them like through every single step of it and knowing what numbers to look for, what's a good property. I have a little thing and this is something anybody can do. I have a list of what I think are the top 10 buys in Myrtle Beach like this month or this week, however often I want to do it. And I send it out to all of my investor clients just to kind of be like, you could buy something here and I can run the numbers for you. We can tell you exactly what to expect, what your what your ratios need to be, what that needs to look like. And it's just, it's kind of fun because it's like matchmaking in a way. And I really enjoy that aspect of it. So like finding that perfect property and having all those resources in house, I think it makes us really, really helpful to somebody looking to get into that or even experienced investors. Some of my investors, they don't even want to know. They're like, just find something. And when you find it, send it to me because they we have trust like that. So I can pick something for them, run those numbers. I'm like, this is exactly what you're looking for. That's so killer. It's, that's it's killer. good either way. Yeah. Well, and that's awesome because that goes back to your activity. You know, we're talking about all this great activity that you have and you're throwing out another secret. Hey, <clears throat> I'm identifying the homes in the area that would be great opportunities for investment. And I'm sharing that with all my investment partners that I work with. So investors, if you're looking at finding some property in Myrtle, I think we found your go-to girl. Because uh, <laughs> Ashlyn has all the secrets and she's got a, uh, she's a part of a family that's been plugged into that marketplace for decades, right? Which is really important. Um, you know, you've got to know the area. And it sounds like you guys know it well and you guys know the ins and outs. For sure, yeah. Yeah. Killer stuff. Killer stuff. Well, uh, one question we always like to ask, and I think this is a fun one. Uh, what would you say your real estate superpower is? I think it's matchmaking. I really feel like I can match you with exactly what you want. I think I can do this for people in relationships. I think I can do this for people in properties. It's just that I really enjoy it. It's like a puzzle. I like ciphers. I like figuring out all the ins and outs, getting to the bottom of it. So I really feel like if I can get you in my car and I can get you to like be open to it, I can find you exactly what you're looking for. Like you probably, I could probably save you so much time too, because you don't have to go and like X this, X that, like we can, we can go straight right. to what's ideal for you and save you time. And I'll probably get you a really good deal on it too. Nah, that's that's killer. It. Yeah. So negotiating skills, matchmaking skills, investment properties, <laughs> literally the go-to in Myrtle. So yeah, great stuff, man. Seriously, you always know how to find the best guests, David. <laughs> killer stuff. Well, we would love to keep you here all day, but we know you've got to get back out there and save more homeowners uh, by bleeding them to homes. Um, what is something we didn't talk about today that we should have? I really feel like we hit everything. I'm really grateful that you guys had me on. I'd be happy to come back anytime. And thank you guys so much for the opportunity to talk about what I love to do the most. Well, we're honored to have you here. You know, it's always awesome to hear what people are doing out there to create success. And you're creating a lot of it. And you're helping a lot of people get connected with what they need. Uh, and, and, and you're doing it with great positive energy. And that's, that's the best part, right? You know, connecting people with that amazing infectious energy uh, that you have. So uh, I think if you're out there and you're looking at buying a home, we know where they need to go. How do they find you? How are they going to get connected with you? You can get connected to me any way that you want. Um, my, If you want my socials, I can give you all my socials. Email is great, too. I mean, do you want me to give you my phone number and all that Drop stuff? it out there, Drop and the we'll phone put it down yeah. in the comments section, okay. too. That way, it's it's available if they're looking, and they, they will be looking. Oh, yeah, they'll be calling you. <laughs> So I have my phone attached to me at the hip. Um, I always answer. My phone number is 703-967-6289. You can call me. You can text me. I love voice memos, too. You can send those all day. Those are my favorite. Um, I have email, obviously. It's MyrtleBeachAsh, A-S-H at gmail.com. Um, our company is called Beach Connection Realty. I'm MyrtleBeachAsh on Instagram. Uh, you can find me pretty much anywhere. If you ever want to talk about, like, 
Taylor Swift stuff or anything. You can also find me on TikTok because I love all that too. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's get out there and let's make some awesome connections. And I know you're going to be happy if you make that phone call because Ashlyn knows what's going on out there uh, in the Myrtle Beach area and she's going to get you what you want. So David, uh, anything you want to say before we tie this thing up today? Well, I know if I'm buying a house in uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, who I'm calling, uh, Ashley <laughs> Chapman, guys, she's your girl. Pick up that phone, call her. She'll find you a place. Good Thank stuff, you. man. Good stuff. Well, thanks again for being a guest. You're right. We're definitely going to have to have you back. Uh, <laughs> enjoy your holiday season. I see your tree up in the background. We've got ours here, too. So uh, Merry Christmas to you and all of your family out there in Myrtle Beach. And uh, we're your real estate success partners. I'm Devin Abu. I'm David Wynn. And if you want to find us, you can check us out at realestatesuccesspartner.com. Again, that's realestatesuccesspartner.com. You can also see us on all the different or hear us on all the different podcast platforms, iTunes, iHeartRadio. Uh, if it's out there, we're probably on it, but we'd love it if you come over to YouTube uh, and check out the video. On YouTube, you can find us at The Dubuque Team. Uh, the Dubuque Team. If you want to be a guest, uh, make sure to comment, and uh, we love those five-star reviews. So until the next time, we'll see you then. Bye, guys. 